Good morning, Fizz fam. We've just Good woken morning. up. Little Kara shares a bedroom with us. So he's just climbed into bed and did his little daily alarm clock, didn't you, Kara? <laughs> so shall we head off downstairs and show the Fizz fam our summer morning routine? We've got some new things that we're doing. Also, it's summer and it's also the summer holidays. Yay. Yay. Okay. So shall we go and show <laughs> them, Kara? What's the first thing that we do, though, before we go downstairs? Can you remember? Wake everybody up. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were supposed to be going and cleaning our teeth, but someone else joined us in bed, didn't you? Come on. And then what's going on with Bear Cover? Getting Bear dressed. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he was naked, wasn't he? Does he yeah. have to brush his teeth as well, Cover? Yeah. He does, okay. Brush his hair as right, well. Should we all brush our teeth? Yeah, make them all shiny and fresh. Shall we? Good morning, guys. So it's actually really bright in my room because um, it's obviously summer, so like the sun has already risen, but all I have done to get like ready technically, I haven't even got out of my bed, I just took my braces out and put them in the, the little pot. And now I'm gonna open my blinds, then I've got to make my bed. Okay guys, so there is my finished bed, and now I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Good morning, Fizz fam. I actually had a bit of a lay in this morning, but the first thing in my morning routine is to make my bed, and now I'm actually gonna go and brush my teeth just to freshen myself up. I feel, I don't know, I had like a really bad sleep last night because in the middle of the night I woke up and someone's car alarm was like going off. I don't know what time it was, but it was like really, really loud. And then I had like some people like trying to discuss how to like get it to turn off. But yeah, it was, it was really annoying because <laughs> it literally woke me up so much. Wonky camera work because you yeah. are resting on my fern plant right now. Fern plant. So we're gonna be brushing our teeth. We brush our teeth before breakfast, first thing in the morning. And um, this is the toothpaste we're using. This is actually a really I good one. I really natural. I have Visalign now. You know, has anyone like just seen this thing now? Like you see sitting at a restaurant, looking around at all the tables. Everyone's got like the like Invisalign now. But why do you brush your teeth before the morning, even though when you eat your breakfast? It puts more food in your teeth. We're not trying to get food off. We're cleaning our teeth of all the bacteria and all of like the... And then I put one of this little smell retainer up. cleaner. Basically like having false teeth. Mm -hmm. So I have to put it in there and then it fizzes and cleans it. Oh yeah, we share a toothbrush. I know something that old We share a toothbrush, uh, but we have different toothbrush heads. Uh, you then made everyone just like go, <gasps> What? So I'm gonna, I've seen people comment that before. Are you guys using the same toothbrush? Yeah, we are, but it's different toothbrush heads. We don't need, I mean, we don't need to have a separate, like, toothbrush bit, do we? No. A little water spray. That's basically my little wake up call, so nice. That's obviously before having a shower later. Um, sometimes in the morning, I might have a shower first thing, but it's very rare. That's usually if I've got to leave the house really early, but usually, I just go downstairs in like my pajamas or in my dressing gown and then I look after the kids, make them their breakfast and we're just downstairs hanging in the kitchen which we're now about to go and do. Right, meet you downstairs. Okay guys, so now I need to wash my face and brush my teeth because that's like what I do every single morning like before doing anything else. So I need to get my little spring water spray, but I don't know why I'm getting this out actually because I brush my teeth first and then I do that. So yeah, I need to brush my teeth. I always try and drink a lot of water like as much as I can in the morning because sometimes you know when you're like busy and doing things you can end up forgetting. So I always want to make sure that I'm drinking enough water because when I get dehydrated it really does affect me. So now I'm going to have a shower and this is the body wash that I use. It's by a brand called Rahua. I really like this. It's actually like a bit glittery. Yeah, it smells so nice. It's like tropical. It just feels so like summery and nice whenever I use this. Even though today doesn't look that summery outside but you know we can pretend. So yeah, I'm gonna have a shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair though. I'm actually gonna get my shower cap. <laughs> Mum got me this shower cap ages ago. Um, because I washed my hair last night, so obviously I don't wanna get it wet. So yeah, I look pretty hilarious with this on, but um, it does actually stop my hair from getting wet. So like, it's, it serves its purpose. <laughs> so the most important thing when you first wake up is to drink some water to hydrate yourself overnight. Yeah. You can get yeah. quite dehydrated from lots of breathing. So we have this funny looking device here. 
This is a water spiralizer. So we get some spring water. We've got these ones here. Preferably we would like spring water glass water bottles, but we can't find any. But however, when you put the spring water into here, the water spiralizes it and it makes it taste incredible because it structures it and it also removes any impurities as well, which is just incredible. And then also we have these really far right drinking glasses. This is a pint glass and look at that beautiful flower of life pattern on. They've actually got a little bit of um, lime scale in this needs cleaning. So I should have made it sparkly for this video, but that's because I've been adding my MSM powder, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And then we've got this cute little one here. So Karen Karma, I'm gonna pour you some out of this magical water basically this kind of replicates water coming out from a spring which is where water is born i guess do you want to drink some of that are any of you like me we can actually notice the difference in taste of water like tap water versus like bottled water versus i don't know if you drink water from a spring if you're lucky enough to do that we don't actually live near one do we darren but when we went to gaston brew we actually had some didn't we is that nice and then Kurt, do you want to drink some? Just a little bit for them, because they can't drink too much in one go. However, me and Daddy first. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And then for me, I usually have a whole pint glass first thing. And I sometimes add electrolytes into the water or different things. But at the minute, I'm adding in some Emerson, which just comes from a pine tree. And this is really good for giving your body energy and keeping it really healthy. So I have about a teaspoon in there. Well, actually, this is half a tablespoon. And this makes the water taste really bitter but i'm going to drink it anyway it's good for me hey guys so now i brush all my teeth i'm going to get this little facial cloth and then just wet it well actually i'm kind of forgetting something quite important i don't want to get my hair wet i really want to get those sleeve ones as well you know how you get like the little like wrap things that go it basically it looks like that on your sleeve on your arm and then it stops you from getting wet sleeves because that always happens to me and it's really annoying. It matches my pyjamas guys. So I'm just gonna wash my face and then finish it off with a little bit of this little spray. And now I'm going to go downstairs. I swear something about having a shower just makes me feel so good in the morning. Like I swear it wakes me up. That's why I always like to have a shower even before I exercise. So I just feel like clean and fresh. Um, so yeah, now I need to get dressed and I am going to be putting some workout clothes on because like I said, I'm going to be doing some exercise. So yeah, this is like my exercise clothes drawer. So I need to decide what to wear. Honestly, have no idea to be honest. There's a lot of choice. <laughs> I almost walk downstairs with this on. Okay, now I'm going to go downstairs. Hey guys, I put my dressing gown on because it's really cold. Good morning. Good morning, Superstiana. Okay, now I need to get some water. Good morning, Karma. Good morning. Okay, we so. We just drank hard water as well, we've been good. Yeah, okay. Right, big bottle, and then I actually write the day of the week on it to help me like make sure I drink it all in one day. Because then sometimes if I don't finish it, then I'll like, Get confused of what day it This is just my little my little trick. There we are. It's like a little challenge. Okay. What day is it? Oh yes, Saturday. Okay, and then little love hearts. Don't know if you guys can see that. And now I've got to drink lots of it. Daddy Fizz is looking a bit weird. Is that your outfit for the day? This is my morning outfit. Yeah, this is a red light cap and a red light <laughs> <laughs> like Don't which isn't full of neck Joseph actually. clothes. Oh. This, this can go anywhere, knees, shoulders, whatever. I learned about it from CrossFit, so. Yeah, yes, a lot of athletes use it for injuries, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it's good for repair and recovery, and apparently making sure you have a thick head of hair as you get older, so that sounds nice. Anyway, I'm on matcha duties, which means I'm making a nice matcha latte for Georgie and me. Our matcha ritual hasn't changed. It's still part of the our morning routine. It still is, yes. Apart from our whisk has changed. Some of you guys thought this was a vape when you saw <laughs> this on the side in a previous video. No, it's just a little travel whisk, <laughs> which is perfect for matcha. But yeah, hilarious that you thought it was a vape. So matcha powder in, little vape. bit of water. Then we're going to what use... What did you vape? Uh, to be honest, I don't really know, don't worry about it. Um, something then, which is just silly. Yeah, and then this is whisked up, like so. Right, look at that. Just to get rid of any lumps, that's it. You can use one of those nice wooden 
one bamboo, aren't just, they? Yeah, it just takes a lot longer, that's all. And then what is this what so you're done. using? Well, that's a milk frother, which isn't essential if you're traveling. So we don't take this with us when we're traveling. Wow, but, look at that lovely um, green. It is nice for when we're at home because then we can make really, really frothy milk, which is obviously what makes a thing like a proper latte when you buy one out. You so, look like a proper barista, by so the way. So being able to make this at home is so nice. Look at you. So there's our milk, and that pretty much doubles in size with it being all frothy. And then we just top these up, so they're about three quarters full. Me and Georgie both like our drinks very milky. Did you know the man on the aeroplane, the steward, he said that we need like a baby tea. That's what he calls it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Right, there we go. Wow. Frothy. So I mean that's more than doubled in size, isn't it? Yeah. We should now, have you noticed know in pop. coffee shops they always do this. <laughs> and I'm like, what did it do? Nothing. It looks exactly. I think it's like to take big bubbles out or something. But what about to get the milk from the sides to like come down? Comment down below if you're a barista and like you know what the purpose of that is. Comment down below if you like eating dog poo. No, <laughs> don't no. say that. Shh. No one, no one like that. <laughs> Actually, some dogs like weirdly do that. Oh, Stop, it. Stop it, Darren, please. This that is, is too much. Revolting. Right, can you tell we've warmed up now? I don't know why they do that, but yeah. First fact, in the mornings this always happens. Like me and Darren will wake up, we're a bit serious. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. And then Sienna comes down, the rest of the family, and then we all start roasting each other and just being <laughs> really silly. It takes a while for us to warm up, and then once we are, then we're proper, you know, oh. Thank you, there's no hut though. Oh, they're actually, do you what? know what? Why have I got to done I haven't been doing that for a while, have I? Where's my hut? Like, I haven't been doing it for a while. What kind of husband are you? It's not See, really. there you go. Thank you, that's good. Oh, don't I get really angry when daddy doesn't make me a hut, Karma? I haven't done a hut for a few weeks. I think it's because we went away and then um, I was only using this. So obviously this doesn't make really, really frothy milk like this milk frothy. Which I say we went away and then I started to do his head. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. We were cooped up in a small place and uh, I just didn't feel like doing the heart anymore, right? <laughs> Cheers. So this is the outfit I decided from. It's all from Alo Yoga and yeah, I really love this. This top is so soft and like buttery. And then this is actually like a school. It's so comfy. And I love that it's like matching color and it's like a really bright pink. So yeah, now I feel very bright and ready for the day. <laughs> now I need to do my skincare. I keep it pretty simple. So I love this hairband. It actually matches the outfit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so first of all, I really like using this water spray. It's super good for you because it's got loads of like minerals and yeah it just makes it feel super fresh as well so i constantly put this on especially like after a shower because i just feel like it's good to like in case you've like washed stuff off your skin you know it's not good to wash your face too much i'm gonna get this castor oil actually and this is like quite a thick oil but i find it like quite dries into your face quite nicely so i only get a little bit and then because i got the water spray on if not this could be like quite hard to like move around your face because i've got the water spray on it kind of helps me spread this over my face if not this oil can be like really really thick <laughs> and like refuses to budge so yeah this is like super moisturizing and it just makes my face feel really good for the rest of the day next thing i usually do is brushing my eyebrows with a spoolie but i've actually lost my spoolie i have no idea where it's gone so i'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and then yeah that's literally all i do for my face every day just to freshen myself up. This time, well, it's gonna be breakfast for the kiddies. Me and Daddy Fizz, we actually intermittent fast, so we have breakfast a little bit later on. Plus, I never feel hungry first thing in the morning. So we are gonna be making a smoothie bowl, aren't we? And yeah. each morning, we tend to have a different type of smoothie bowl, depending on the fruit we've got. We have a lot of frozen fruit, which we put into here, and then some fresh fruit, and lots of toppings, and I can't wait to show you our toppings. So today, the kids wanted, well, Carmen really wanted, he wanted us to make Dun, 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 dun. A blue spirulina powder bowl. I know that sounds really gross, but inside here is the most gorgeous man-made blue, and this powder can transform your smoothie bowl. Can't it, Karma? Yeah. So for the base of a smoothie bowl, I really recommend using some frozen fruit, frozen mixed berries, frozen strawberries, frozen mango, or frozen banana. So we've got some in here, haven't we? So for a blue spirulina bowl, or we can call it a mermaid bowl, couldn't we, kids? We are going to be using light-coloured fruits such as banana, 
and it'll be really sweet. Do you want light? Yeah. Yeah, you want it light. So frozen fruit gives it a really nice thick texture and it makes it really like kind of just taste better. I don't know why. It just tastes better than like Yeah, just... also it makes it nice and cold. Mm -hmm. then, like... Which is perfect for summer. Yeah. We actually don't have porridge for breakfast anymore or rice pudding, hardly ever. We've actually switched to having more fresh breakfast, haven't we? Yeah. Grain free more ones. Summery ones. Yeah, so we've got a load of bananas in there. It's good to add in a couple of fresh ones as well if we want. I'll just add one in for now because you don't want it to go too runny. Sorry guys. And then I add, if we've got it in the fridge, we add in sea moss gel. This is really good. It's full of minerals. Really good. That one is actually a purple one. You can usually get a clear one, so I don't know how that's going to change the colour. Usually we have clear sea moss, don't we? Yeah, that's a seaweed basically, guys, if you don't know what it is. I mean, sea moss might give it away. We've got some silken tofu, which we add into it. I know that sounds gross, but you won't taste the tofu in there. But it actually makes it really like smooth and creamy. And it's also karma, high in protein. Yeah. Isn't it? Sometimes we add in some aloe vera. This is what I kind of add into my smoothies for breakfast, but I just wanted to show you if it's found. I'm very passionate about all of my ingredients and nutrition. I love it. And then we've got some hemp seeds here. These are really good. These are, I'll show you, little nutty seeds from the hemp plant. And no, this, this won't make you start seeing weird things. Okay, this is, this is not what you think it is. And this is really creamy and full of healthy fats. If you want, you can add in some protein powder as well. We add this in for protein, but also because it gives it a nice flavour. This is vanilla, so mm -hmm. let's add in a bit of that. Everything we're using here is organic and vegan. And then we've got the blue spirulina, which I haven't opened up yet. I really have been excited to get this. Mm. So this is a natural food colouring. It's also really nutritious for you, spirulina, if you look into it really good for like energy and like your just vitality so we need to be careful with this not because it stains but it's just a powder and it'll go everywhere but look at that vibrant blue right and you only need a tiny little bit of this because spirulina is quite flavorful and it's quite potent as well maybe that would be enough what do you think i don't know mm. look at that wow that's very strong wow so we're basically making like a mermaid ocean bar, aren't we? It's hard to believe that's something natural. Like it looks like yeah. an artificial food dye or something, it's doesn't it? It's an algae, isn't it? So crazy. And then to blend this up, we might need a little bit of soy milk in it. I don't really follow recipes. So you can kind of just mix and match. Should we put this over here now? Yeah. Yeah? Not on that. I've still got loads in my hands. I hope I'm not messing the kitchen <laughs> up. And then turn these on. Like I only if you guys like cats, we always have to turn all the plug sockets off at the wall. I can't. I've been like that since a kid, I like got to turn it all off. And then, ready? The only issue with that is, is that half of them are covered up by cactuses. <laughs> so the amount of times we have this really annoying cactus bits yeah. in our fingers, yeah. don't we, Sienna? Because we live in London <laughs> I really, and we don't really have a proper garden. I really want it to fill up our kitchen with loads of plants. I mean, London is actually surprisingly really leafy for this family. It's, it's really beautiful, but it's just nice to have all of these grounding plants and here and they're kind of like my yeah, friends. Yeah, I do love the plants, just yeah. the cactuses, not so much. No, I like the cactus. <laughs> right, let's see how it comes out. Oh, look! Yeah. She's really embarrassed. You're nearly fair to hear my abuse, that was really cringe, wasn't it? <laughs> right, I think they might, you don't want it to have loads of lumps of it. Let's uh, blend it up a little bit more. Right, just for video purposes, I've, I got carried away pouring because I thought it was a really good <laughs> shot and I've literally given like I have a curl karma too much and I will pour it into there but I just really don't want to make it all like messy and gross but anyway guys I know Sienna you can have that one can't you because okay, there's yeah. loads in there and can have that and curl so then now it's topping time. Do you want to go and get out the granola that we have, sure. our favourite granola? And then Karma, do you want to chop up some banana to put yeah. on top? Chop it into nice little coins. So we've got the the Paleo Foods Grain Free Granola. This is almond, cashew and coconut. This is the low sugar one. We love this one for this fan because it's basically just loads of seeds and nuts and coconut mixed together. Yeah, look at that. Which is really good for children because it's full of healthy fats. Children actually need quite a lot of fat to grow up. But look at that. We usually put it in a nice sort of shape right now. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Just around the little edge, like a little moon shape. Because then we need to leave room for the fresh fruit, don't we? Yeah. Well done, look at how nice that looks. Good girl. And then, by the way, if you want to wear curries, he's just playing with his cars. He's having a great time, I can hear him singing. And then Carmen's cut up the 
banana, haven't you? And what we'll do with the banana, we can place it around the edge like that. You can make it as pretty as you want. This could be like your little chance to do a bit of art and creativity in the morning fizz fan if you wanted to go at making a smoothie bowl. And you can literally add on anything that you want. Like it's up to you. And then the passion fruit if you want. And then you can pop the passion fruit in there like that. There we go, a big dollop of nut butter. And there we go, it's the fa family fizz breakfast bowl. Yeah, thank smoothie you. Smoothie bowl. This one is the mermaid edition, isn't it, Karma? If you want a big, yeah. that one is yours, isn't it? And then this one is Karma's. Big dollop of nut butter there for you. There you go. Mm, it tastes like kind of vanilla-y. Ooh, that'll be the protein powder, won't yeah. it? Yum. And then we can't get Sienna's reaction because there's a giant sunflower in the way. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, just trying it's to. It's really delicious. Through the jungle. Oh, there we go. We can see it through it's the really jungle. Really nice. Hang on, we'll just go around the jungle. <laughs> Oh, there you are. Yeah, it's really creamy and like the passion fruit is really good. The thing is, it's hard to get it without it like sinking to the bottom. How's your breakfast, King Koa? Good. Is it nice? Yeah. Is it, it's the same colour as your top almost, isn't it? <laughs> it's your favourite colour, isn't it? Isn't blue your favourite colour? And orange. Isn't that just blippy? <laughs> yeah, but I've just got more colours also. You like oh. more colours than that? Yeah. What's your favourite favourite colour at the moment? So I feel like it keeps changing, doesn't it? All of them. All of them, okay, Aww. nice. <laughs> okay guys, so I just finished breakfast and I'm actually going to do a little workout in our exercise room and I think all the rest of the family are too. So it's going to be a little family workout, guys. So I need to get in some workout stuff, obviously. So I need you guys' help to decide what to wear. So these are all of my bottoms and these are all of my tops. So I think I'm gonna decide bottoms first. So I have these little shorts. I also have the same ones in green. I do really like these. Maybe these are an option. I'm gonna put them in the maybe pile. I've never actually picked my outfit like this, but it's kind of fun. Okay, leggings. It's not that cold, like it's summer. I feel like I don't really need to wear leggings. And these leggings are even thicker. I definitely don't need to wear those. Okay, I have my favorite school ever. Definitely an option. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Also, I love this score. This is so cute. Um, I think I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. And I've got these two little pink ones. Maybe I'm gonna put this one in the no and then this one in the maybe. Okay, and then I need to find a top to wear and then work out what top goes with the bottoms. Okay, so I've got this little top. This is really nice. And that will go with these two skirts. So I like that. And then I've got um, lots of little t-shirts. So I've got this white one. I like that. I've got this blue one, which is the same as the white one, but just different color. I've got this little navy t-shirt. And then I've got this top. I haven't actually worn this, like I don't wear this one that much, but mm, I'm gonna put it in the no pile, I think. And then I've also got this one. I think it's also gonna go in the no pile. I think I know what my outfit is going to be. It is gonna be this skirt with this navy tee. So yeah, I'm not gonna get dressed, guys. <laughs> She's awake! Good morning. She's awake, good morning! The teenager is finally here. Right, well done. You look really, really bright and colourful. Well done. So guys, we, on Saturday mornings, we've been doing this where we have a family fizz family workout. And this is our workout room here. We've got lots of different zones. So we tend to put loads of music on and then we do a circuit of whatever we feel like we want. So here we've got the gymnastics bar, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We're doing loads of spinning around on and lifting Go on, Mark, up. go show off. Go on. Whee! I'll show a little. Go on, Karma. Wow. Oh! Let go. Wow. Well done, Karma. And then we have, this is my favourite piece of equipment. I ever. like this as well. We've got the rebounder which is really good for yeah. the lymphatic system, clearing stagnant energy, or if you feel like you don't have a lot of energy, it can actually perk you up for the day. And then we've and got- And we've got me and Carla's pull up bar, which mm -hmm. I'll show you then. Yay, well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Carla, yeah, this is great. Nearly there, you do about half a pull yeah. up, don't you? Brilliant. We've got the air track for tumbling. Sienna is amazing at this. <laughs> we Should we have a demonstration, Sienna? Let's move this out of the way. I can't do anything at the moment. Oh, wait, wait, she's been in a little shot. Okay. Will? Yeah. Oh, come, we'll do it. There you go. go hey. Okay, I'll do, I'll do a uh, walkover. Woohoo! Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, 
Oh, well done. Well done. We've got a beam which we would pull out, but we, we don't really do this when we do a family workout. But this is like a gymnastics room as well. Then we've got a para tower, and this is good for pull ups, hangs, dips, push ups. Well, we're going to show you our workout when leg we start lifts. doing it. And then we've got loads leg of weights. Leg lifts, here. well done, Carl. Yeah, yeah. And you can do leg lifts on your one, yeah. can't you? We've got loads of weights down here, and then this is like an area where we do weights and we can do floor work, we can do like proper ab workouts, and we can do like the postural exercises we with can the bands. Do Look Yay. at that, well done. Shoulder mobility, amazing. Right guys, shall we get started? We just yeah. like, I don't know, we do like five minutes on this or two minutes, do another bit, and we just have really good fun. We support each other. We just go with the flow, don't we? Okay, so I'm gonna be doing, right, me on the trampoline. What are you gonna be doing, Karma? What are you gonna do? Pull ups, okay? <laughs> I'll do some kettlebells. Why is it so slow? It's gonna, it's gonna have music, don't worry. <laughs> All ready for the day, all dressed and showered. We're now going to be going to the farmer's market, which is one of our favourite weekend rituals. Also, guys, I hope you all have a happy and healthy day. Comment down below, are you an early bird, as in a morning person, or are you a night owl? I'm definitely an early bird. <laughs> Love you so much, Fizz Bag!